Bybit has joined a growing list of crypto exchanges listing XRP after Ripple secured a partial victory against the SEC in July. By the way, will there be an IPO or SEC settlement announcement during Ripple's upcoming celebratory party? Also, prominent figures in the XRP community argue against investing in XRP while relying on Ripple's efforts to push the digital asset, but can Ripple alone make that happen? Finally, why hasn't XRP been adopted by Amazon Pay and others? Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on the 15th of September. Following in the footsteps of several other cryptocurrency exchanges, Bybit has started trading XRP against Euro on its spot trading platform. The popular trading platform announced the latest edition in a blog post on September 4th, saying it will help enhance users' trading experience on the exchange. With the new listed trading pair, XRP and Euro, users can now buy and sell the crypto asset using Euro. The addition of XRP on Bybit comes less than two months after Ripple secured a partial victory in its legal tussle against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Recall that in July, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres granted a partial summary judgment in favor of Ripple, ruling that XRP is not a security when sold to retail investors on crypto exchanges or used by service providers. Since the court's ruling, several cryptocurrency exchanges have moved to list and relist XRP on their platforms. Prominent cryptocurrency exchanges, including Gemini, Coinbase, Kraken, and Crypto.com, also reintroduced XRP to their platform after the ruling. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. As blockchain startup Ripple prepares to celebrate its recent legal victory against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, speculation about the odds of a full settlement with the regulatory body remains high. Many also muted the idea that Ripple would announce its plans to go public on a U.S.-based stock exchange during the party. However, crypto-friendly lawyer John Deaton, who also runs a crypto-focused law firm, believes such outcomes are improbable. In a Sunday tweet, Deaton argued that at the upcoming Ripple party, scheduled for September 29th, there would be no announcement of an SEC settlement or an initial public offering either. Deaton recalls that the SEC is still at loggerheads with Ripple Labs despite a partial court victory granted to the crypto-native company. The SEC is seeking a permanent injunction against Ripple Labs concerning the future sale of XRP to institutional investors and also hopes to secure a similar injunction against Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Chairman of the Board Chris Larson. Deaton said the ongoing legal tussle makes it increasingly impossible for the SEC to approve a Ripple IPO. Only the SEC has the constitutional right to allow a U.S. company to go public, and the agency is unlikely to grant its blessing to Ripple under current circumstances. So, will Ripple settle with the SEC before the celebratory party? Well, a complete legal settlement between Ripple and the SEC is also out of the picture before the company's upcoming party, according to Deaton. The crypto seasoned lawyer believes the only way for the warring parties to settle is if the judge handling Coinbase's separate case against the SEC accepts a motion to dismiss filed by Coinbase in the past month. Coinbase told the court that bid and sell transactions of crypto tokens on its platform did not constitute securities transactions, a case the SEC has strongly argued against. Hence, according to Deaton, until that separate issue is resolved and potentially applied to the SEC case against Ripple, a settlement remains out of the cards even before the end of the year. In either case, Ripple's celebratory party will likely still be held on September 29th, marking a big moment for the XRP community after a two-year-long legal battle. In a July ruling, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres declared XRP a non-security, paving the way for retail trading of XRP to resume on top U.S. exchanges. Furthermore, in a recent tweet, prominent XRP influencer Crypto Airy argued that the effort of Ripple alone cannot drive the value of XRP to the moon. 
The XRP influencer added that she is not an XRP investor relying on Ripple's effort to build the digital assets price. Moreover, she cited that Ripple's marketing and sales activities only account for a single-digit percentage of XRP's trading volume. Crypto Airy expressed this sentiment in response to other top XRP figures who believe Ripple's business effort will push XRP beyond bounds. She remarked in a reply tweet to digital asset investor, DAI unlike DAI, I don't rely on the efforts of Ripple to build up the price of XRP. Never have, never will. Especially with accounting for single-digit impact on volume. Notably, in his tweet, XRP influencer DAI shared why he is an XRP investor. He highlighted big statements that supposedly came from Ripple about how XRP could revolutionize the global financial landscape. It included that Ripple allegedly said XRP could be a hedging asset from financial crises and that XRP's goal is to become a world reserve digital currency. Also, he highlighted Ripple allegedly stated it would be replacing SWIFT. This is why I'm here. I believe them, the XRP influencer proclaimed. However, Crypto Airy and some other notable XRP figures are at variance with DAI's view. A renowned attorney, Bill Morgan, known for his pro-XRP stance, simply commented, you expect profits from the efforts of Ripple. Interestingly, expectation of profits is one of the four prongs of Howey's tests that an investment must satisfy to become a security. Crypto Airy expressed shock that XRP enthusiasts would proclaim their involvement in XRP banking on Ripple after the multi-year legal battle regarding the non-security status of XRP. It's surprising after surviving the SEC attack, anyone would subscribe to this reliance. In a similar conversation, Crypto Airy clarified that Ripple is just one of the thousands of firms coming to build on XRP and the XRP ledger. Pro XRP lawyer Morgan shared a court document from Ripple supporting Crypto Airy's claim. In the paper, Ripple stated the value of XRP is reliant on retail speculation, projects building on XRPL, and other companies like Ripple building on the ledger. Therefore, the experts believe investing in XRP relying solely on Ripple's effort to shoot its value could be a faulty investment calculation. Now to the big question of the day, why hasn't XRP been adopted by Amazon Pay and others? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. John Deaton, managing partner at crypto-focused law firm Deaton Law, has bemoaned how the long-standing legal battle between Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has adversely hindered the adoption of XRP. Notably, the lawsuit has prevented an integration that would allow the use of XRP as a payment option on the widely used Amazon Pay service. Deaton presented a case study using crypto payment platform BitPay, which originally offered US-based customers the option to pay with XRP on checkout. However, following the SEC lawsuit against Ripple Labs in which the regulator labeled XRP a security, BitPay stopped processing XRP payments in the United States. Thus, the SEC lawsuit created a disadvantage for XRP, with BitPay instead allowing users to pay with MeanCoins, Dogecoin, or Shiba Inu. Deaton suggested that the outcome is ironic given that XRP was created for payments and Dogecoin was created as a joke. Moreover, Amazon Pay has over 50 million users, with 27% of U.S. digital payment users preferring to use the payment option at checkout. Such a broad audience potentially missed out on learning about XRP because of the Ripple lawsuit. John Deaton's latest comments on how Ripple's lawsuit has impacted XRP follow up on an earlier thread in which the crypto-focused lawyer expressed conviction that the SEC used the lawsuit as a weapon against the company. Deaton believes XRP adoption may have been way bigger, and Ripple may have grown large enough to even acquire a stake in stablecoin company Circle. In the interim, Ripple Labs has been making headway in its legal tussle with the SEC. The company looks all set to celebrate its partial victory in which a U.S. court ruled that XRP is not a security. Top U.S. exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken have relisted XRP, even though the SEC has since appealed the court ruling. In addition, as reported earlier in the video, BitPay announced that it had added worldwide support for XRP after the ruling. BitPay also highlights 28 global business that are accepting XRP as payment via BitPay. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. 
Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.